<laughs> she came close to the nips. All right, since I'm tall and he's not, I'm going to squat down here for this intro. What's up, guys? Hi, guys. This is the first video I think I filmed with my shirt off just standing here casually. Yeah. Fresh out of the shower. This is weird, but this is awesome. Look at that. I know. But today, we're going to do a quick video where she pretty much is going to show you how to clean your nipples or, you know, take care of your nipples after, after top surgery because your nipples turn into skin grafts because they have to take your nipples off and then put them back on. And it's a bit complicated at first, but she got the hang of it pretty quickly. So this is my wife. We're gonna show you guys how to care for the nip knops after top surgery. All right, so this is where I interject. Um, <laughs> so we have drains right here where his drains came out on the side. And I'm gonna zoom in so that you guys can see all this. Yeah, so we have drains. I don't know if you can see this right here. But this is where his drain came out of, and then this is where his other drain came out of. They used to be pretty big holes, um, but now they are starting to kind of close up. So this is pretty much our setup that we got going on over our here. Our little itty bitty setup. So um, this is pretty much where I keep all the stuff that I'm going to need to do his, his, his nipples. Um, so I start off with my gloves just because I don't want to have to get all up in there and touch them with my dirty hands. Interjecting. Um, sorry about our dirty counter. Oops. Um, this is real life, man. This is real life. Nobody has a nice bathroom counter. Give me a break. True that. So, um, I only put one on because it makes it easier if I can actually feel what's going on and I use just one. I have gauze in this pad and in this little pack right here. I cut. I already pre-cut them, but I use just these little scissors to cut them. They're my hair cutting scissors, but whatever. Uh, that's beside the point. <laughs> so I, they come in a pack that's basically one long strip. I cut it in half, and then I cut it in half again um, to make these little pads that go right over his nipples. They so fit perfectly. I just keep those right there, and then I have band aids in here for his little drain holes, just because. I don't. I want to make sure that I keep them protected with some ointment. So then I'm just going to open up these little band-aids just so I can get them ready just because it's a lot easier to have everything already set up right when I start the process. So I get these guys opened and then what I do is I take this medical tape that the uh, surgeon gave us when we went to go get the drains taken out. I peel it up and then I kind of just eyeball it but I usually take about that much, and I just cut it that's off. That's it. That's about half half a foot, about six inches. Yeah, and then it doesn't need to, to be too exact, but then I just cut them in half, and I set all that over there, and then I put these on the wall because they're just gonna go on his skin. That's not all disgusting, so I don't need to worry about them being sterile or anything. Personal preference. And then once I got all of my little pads and my little bandages set up. I have my bacitracin, which is just neosporin. Um, Fights off bacteria. Handy and ready. And then basically after I do that, I get one of these Q-tips. And I put a little bit of the bacitracin on the end of it. Boink. This one is going to be for the drain holes just because I want to make sure I keep them nice and infection free just because they are still kind of open wounds. Basically what I do is I'm very gentle about it um, but I don't try and put, I don't try and like smear it everywhere, glob it on because I am going to be putting a bandaid on it and it makes it really hard to do that. Just very gently cover the nasty disgusting hole with some <laughs> ointment. They are healing up really nicely though. Thank God. And I just chuck that in the sink. <clears throat> and then I grab these band-aids, peel off the little wrapper, and then grab hold and put it on. Really not that much to it. Really boring. You only have to technically do the drains like the first two or three days after. Yeah, but since he had complications, I'm going to keep doing it until it heals up. Yeah, I don't want to go to the doctor again. No. And then this steri strip tape right here, once it's ready to fall off, it will fall off on its own, but she didn't tell me to put any like ointment on that or anything like that. So once that's good to go, 
that's good to go. Don't gotta do nothing more to it. Now the fun part. And then my nippies. To the nips we go. I put some ointment on my finger. I usually put enough for both of them because I don't have to keep touching the ointment thing with both of my fingers after I touched his healing nipples. And then I just kind of very gently dab it on there. And as the body temperature heats it up, it's going to start to liquefy, I guess, and smear around a little easier. And then I grab some of it, and then I put it on the other nipple. Honestly, I don't even feel that. And I'm all like pressing onto it. These gloves are a lot bigger than my hands are, so I'm literally, the glove is the only thing that's really kind of putting it on there. I'm just, you know, dab, dab, dabbing away. Kind of like a beauty blender for foundation. Yeah, because I know what that is. Cute. It's my actually, contrary, I know, what a, I know what a beauty blender is. He's um, really good with makeup, actually. Thank you. It's like I used to be a woman. Let me tell you guys a fun fact. I used to wear eyeliner in 7th and 8th grade every single day, and at one point I wore brown eyeliner. And that says a lot about my whole makeup history. Yeah, I stopped. That's about it. Um, and then once we're done with that, I uh, have my little pieces of tape right up here on the door. I just grab my little pads, and then I cover the nips. Unfortunately, like my so. yeah. Unfortunately, my nipples have to be constantly covered until the skin graft heals and the first layer peels back. Otherwise, my nipple could. It sounds gruesome. But my nipple could literally fall off. Yeah. So honestly, if you just set them on there, they'll kind of stick because of the neosporin. So I don't really have to worry about it. But then I take the little piece of tape and. Half and half, make sure half is on the skin, half is on the gauze pad. Kind of just press it down, but not too hard because I don't want to hurt him. And then I grab my other one. And I do the same thing. And that is literally it. <laughs> and you gotta do that every single day. Every day, once a day. So it's really not that difficult. Whoa, wrong way. It's really not that difficult to um, do this, um, and it's not it's not tedious. It's not annoying. It's just it literally takes me like three seconds to do it every day. But yeah. Um, but that is pretty much pretty much it. It's not too hard after you get the drains out. It's pretty easy. You just gotta yeah. take care of it, and make sure it doesn't get affected. That's about it. Yep. So that's why we're using the ointment on all of them, and uh, that's pretty much it. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah. It's not a, not a super interesting video, but it is a part of the transition process, so we figured we would uh, document that so that you guys could see us and what we do pretty much on a daily basis. And who knows, maybe somebody had top surgery and they don't know how to take care of the nipples because your doctor didn't tell you. Here's how you do it. Yeah, so just information. Or, you know, if you're looking to get top surgery and you don't really know what to expect or what's ahead of you, well, here you go. And uh, if you like this video, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already, make sure you subscribe down below and become what the fuck did what are words? And become part of the Robinson family today. What are and words? so that you don't miss anything, make sure you hit those post notifications because we are posting more That's regularly. So weird. Yeah, I am. It's weird looking in the mirror and seeing like a flat chest. I don't know. Lotion. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.